I'm Naisha McCauley, and you're watching AccessTV.org. Welcome to another segment of the Grassroots Business Journal, where social media links with small business. I am your host, Paul Willis. Today we have as our guest, Mary Ellen Dombrowski, Chamber President from Glastonbury. Thank you. Pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Excellent, excellent. Can you tell a little bit about some, maybe some history about the, uh, the Chamber and what the Chamber is uh, that, and its function in your town? Sure. The um, Chamber is an organiz a membership organization of businesses of all sizes, including individuals, home-based and solopreneurs. And they join an organization like ours to grow their business. Okay. It's relationship building, it's an environment where we can collaborate, where we can get to know each other and trust each other and give referrals. Um, we have a lot of events so that businesses have the opportunity to sponsor and get exposure to different demographic groups. We have large events that have 15,000 attendees and we have a golf tournament with a couple of hundred attendees. We have um, special interest groups for women, for wellness. So we, we um, really are proud to have a lot of opportunities and options for our members to engage with one another. Okay. If a small business wants to become involved, mm -hmm. what would you suggest that they do? How do you bring them into the organization? Uh, well, a lot of people come to us because we are a vibrant organization. We have a lot going on and it's a, a lovely community. So okay. people like to do business with our members and they also like to have exposure with the community itself in Glastonbury. But some of our programs, we have a leads exchange group that's been going on for about a dozen years now, which is far longer life expectancy for a program than one would expect, but it's very successful. Okay. Um, that's open to members and non-members. Okay. It's on the first and third Thursday of every month from 7.30 to 9 at Sakura Garden. And this is a place where you can come in and uh, distribute your marketing materials. You get a 30 second commercial Okay. So you stand up and talk about your business for 30 seconds and you say what kind of a lead you're looking for. Okay. Um, this really attracts a lot of people because there's no commitment. It's a dollar for breakfast. Okay. So, okay. Um, and it's, it's unlike other kinds of leads group in that it's uh, soft leads and referrals and honing your 30 second commercial. Okay. So you're comfortable saying who you are and what you do. Okay. And that has just been a tremendous um, place for people to build confidence if they're new in business okay. and um, to connect with other people and really talk about what they do for a business. How long have you been <coughs> chapter president? Well, I've been here, actually it's not a chapter. Okay. Chambers are, we're in a corporation, okay. a nonprofit corporation. Um, I've been there seven years. Okay. The um, misconception of chambers is that they're part of the town and we're okay. an absolute separate entity. Okay. And we are also a separate entity from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Oh, okay. So okay. Um, that's, that's a, a general misunderstanding of what it is. We are incorporated unto ourselves as a nonprofit. Now, since you've been president, what would you say has been, um, are there any obstacles that you have for, for that businesses may encounter for coming into the, either into the chamber or that you know, trying to get in or, or being involved. Are, are there any obstacles that you see? No, no. I mean, a anybody can join. Okay. Anybody from anywhere can join any chamber. Okay. Um, so as far as preventing someone to engage, we don't do that. It's, okay. We wouldn't do that. Okay. Uh, our purpose is to help people grow. Okay. And whether it's personally or professionally, that's what we're there for. Um, obstacles, some people will just join um, because they feel that it's the right thing to do to belong to your Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. That's really going by the wayside with Gen X and Y don't have that same upbringing and sense of, of obligation okay. as my okay. generation. So we are right now in a, a very exciting time where we're, just, we're pivoting from one generation to the next generations that are gonna be in the workforce. Okay. Because by 2015, Gen X and Y will be 
greater numbers in the workforce than uh, the boomers are right now. So okay. we're up for a big change in a very short period of time. From now, you're saying that all types of businesses are, can become involved. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. What is your what, what is, is a main function or activity that you have within the chamber? Well, every chamber has a personality, okay. uh, much like churches and other organizations. So our chamber is very much event driven. Okay. So we have a lot of programs and events. Um, we don't get al involved in advocacy on the local level. We're a single town chamber. Okay. Other chambers may be regional, like a Middlesex chamber, and they're very involved with advocacy um, with the elected officials. Okay. So okay. ours is a, a one-town chamber, and so we run a lot of programs and events. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we don't do a whole lot of educational seminars because we have found in the past that that's not really what our members are looking for. Okay. But we are right now moving into webinars and doing more things online that are accessible 24-7. Um, we have a large event called the Apple Harvest Festival. Mm -hmm. This year was the 39th year. We had 15,000 people. Wow. Yeah, it's a, it's a weekend event, the weekend after Columbus Day. Mm -hmm. It's um, known as the last event of the fall. Okay. So we kind of closed down the, uh, it, the, fe the fall, and it's a quintessential New England festival. We have the amusement rides and the food vendors with the big turkey legs and okay. <laughs> the traditional what you would expect. And yeah, we yeah. have an apple pie and we also have about 125 craft booths. Mm. So and we have a beer garden, we have entertainment. And so it's, it's really a wonderful community event. Okay. And that's, our, that's the biggest event that we do. And we also have um, other events like our, our music festival that we've done in um, cooperation with the town. That's been a partnership for over 25 years. We have four free concerts on Wednesday evenings for the community at large. So that's another wow. big um, contribution to the town. Yes, yes. And, and our members can sponsor that so that they have great exposure f throughout the concerts themselves, but we also have supplements in the Hartford Current and on our website. So there are many ways that our business members can have exposure participating in these great events. Now, do you accept membership from around the area? Oh, yes. the area businesses, etc. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. an unwritten rule in chamber world. You do not directly solicit, mass solicit um, members in okay. an established chamber area. So okay. we just never do that. But we find that more so people will come to us. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That sounds good. That yeah. sounds good. Uh, where can people find out about the chamber? Well, we're at GlastonburyChamber.com, okay. and that's the best place to find out about us. Um, 860-659-3587. We'd love okay. to talk to anybody who's interested. We have a, a, a. We really like to change things up all the time. We just did a Men of Glastonbury calendar, mm -hmm. and um, we're launching a new Young Entrepreneurs program in 2014. So we'd love to have anybody who's interested and join us with the fun of change and shifting things and growing. Uh, we have 525 members right now. Wow. which is a, a significant size for a single town chamber. Absolutely, um, absolutely. But it's a, great, it's a great community. It's a, the folks in Glastonbury love their town. Okay. They're very supportive. There are many um, programs and events beyond what the chamber does in the community okay. that are highly, highly supported by the residents and the people in the area. So I'm, I'm very blessed to be in Glastonbury and feel very fortunate. What do you see for the upcoming year? What's the uh, um, up gonna, upcoming year going to be looking like for you? How well, do you see it? We, we just had strategic planning session. What I mentioned earlier is the shift in the demographics. Okay. So we are looking into how do, how do you make that happen? Part of that is um, having new programs that will invite younger members, focusing on trying to engage them in new ways. Mm -hmm. And part of that is with the technology, the webinars and those mm. kinds of things. We are deliberately um, going to make sure that we have at least 30% of our board members and 30% of our ambassadors, which is much like a membership committee, okay. to be in Gen X and Y. 
Uh, we, we are going to have focus groups. We want to make sure that we understand what their needs are because their needs are different than my needs and the Absolutely. needs that we're currently Absolutely. serving. Okay. So that's okay. um, it's challenging, but it's very exciting. I have a very uh, supportive board, a very open board that understands this. We all read a book. There was a book call, called The End of Membership as We Know It by Sarah Slidek. Mm. And I bought six nice. copies. My staff has read it. My executive committee's read it. The majority of the board members have read it. And even my intern from the high school has read it. So, <laughs> so they have all the understanding that something needs to shift. And we need to be doing it deliberately and with respect so as not to lose the success that we have now, but to be viable in the future. Absolutely. That sounds good. Well, we come to the end of our first segment here. Uh, we've been talking with uh, Mary Ellen Dombrowski, Chamber President from Glastonbury. Mm -hmm. And again, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to uh, call me at 860-490-8856. And also let me say again, what is the phone number for the uh, chamber? Chamber is 860-659-3587. And the website? www.glastonburychamber.com. .com. So again, those that are, are interested, come out to the Chamber's activities, mm -hmm. check their website. Um, it sounds very exciting for what they're uh, offering and hope to see you in our next segment. So until then, this has been your host, Paul Willis, Grassroots Business Journal host. And until next time, keep talking business. <laughs>